This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are- Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... But no, he's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian-loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's... We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. <sighs> the situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Managed to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. The messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of- Sir! No- The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives.
didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you murglack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes. A regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they... they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Nar Shada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them. But I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Korda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. 
But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity, and then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon, deceased. Fucking query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the Turbolift codes. In case you managed to get this far. Almost didn't make it. Hey. Oh, what? Not a court. Keep you, but the. Query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the Turbolift codes. In case you managed to get this far. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi, about selling him to the Exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks, and ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone. Works the system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comlink. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer grow some horns? The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13. Then the next two numbers are... I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. We are together in this matter, you and I. What affects you affects me. There can be no division in our actions, or everything is lost. I realize that you have traveled alone ever since the Mandalorian Wars, but that time of self-reflection is over. And if you cannot see beyond yourself and your own needs, then you should know that I have the only means of accessing the Ebon Hawk's Navi computer. Without it, we both are trapped here. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. 
If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Clarification. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Preserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, resulting in the termination of hostilities. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Thank you. 
Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. We cannot go back into the facility. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Navi computer. They'd have to. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Our enemies gab... Very well. I shall keep such thoughts to myself. What is it? Why are
taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berth, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beamed to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort, but we'll find out. Everyone in the Ebon Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! <laughs> ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. 
Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic level priority, whether he knows it or not. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Onassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I'm always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. This was your room? When? We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly.
What is it? Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. This is the medical officer. The soldiers sent to the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him are Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Bye. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. You don't survive on the rim as long as I have without knowing when trouble's coming. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me, when it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. for the Jedi. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly.
What is it? Why are we... Look, I'd be happy to share my whole life story when we aren't getting chased by assassin droids and Sith troops, alright? Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. I sent you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your 